up, cutie? So right now we're gonna get ready to go out and do a cafe explore with my sis. Ding! <laughs> so guess what, cuties? We're gonna be holding a giveaway of this Pyongyangular Moisture Suiting Sun Cream for our 10 lucky cuties. So stick with us, cuties. So this sun cream is the one that we have been constantly using since early this year. Mm -hmm. We brought it to our Koss Paris trip, yeah. Maxmara Paris trip, and even Singapore, Singapore. recently. Yeah. This is day one that we have been using, cuties. Yes. So if there's one thing that we cannot live without when it comes to skincare, it's always gonna be the sunscreen. Mm -hmm. It's like a number one essential for us. We would apply this even on the days that we don't go out and we don't do makeup. And today, I want to quickly introduce this Pyongyang Yours Moisture Soothing Sun Cream, which has been a game changer in our daily skincare routine. So this chemical sunscreen is a definition of hydration bomb. Yes. It not only has incredibly strong UV protection, but also moisturizes and soothes the skin heated by the sun and blocks moisture loss. So sometimes I would just skip the cream step in the skincare routine because just along with this one, it just gives enough hydration. And I really like how eliminating that one step in my skincare routine keeps my face feels less heavy throughout the day. So it literally feels like applying a soft lighted lotion. Yeah. It's very gentle to the skin and does not leave white cast or oily or sticky residues. And the real magic happens when I apply the foundation. It gives a subtle radiant glow. And of course, this sun cream is cruelty free and reef safe sun cream made with nature friendly ingredients. So if you could just have a very sensitive or dry skin that gets easily irritated during hot summer, or you have an oily skin and you just want to change it to a lightweighted sunscreen, or you have a lot of plans outdoor this summer. The link to the Pyongyang News and screen is at the description box below. So make sure to check it out, cuties. We highly, highly recommend it. And we also have 10% promo code, which is Q21SPF. That's valid until July the 23rd. So we really hope you cuties can get a chance to try out these products for yourself. And yes, we have a giveaway for 10 lucky cuties to win this Pyongyang Your Moisture Soothing Sun Cream. Simply go to the giveaway link, which is in the description box below. Just fill out the form and that's pretty much it. Yes, and the 10 lucky winners will be contacted by Pyongyang Your by July 24th via email. Yeah. Go on, cuties. Goodbye. Hermione. I got the perfect thumbnail. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is so good, sis. Mmm. Oh my god. Can you make me this every day? Mmm. Wow. The bread quality is really good, sis. Thank you. Woo! Oh! 
Oh, it's oh man. It's really cooked. Really? Oh, man. Mm. But it's good, though. Travel size, and this is the actual. Mm. Oh no! This one leaks, so that much is empty. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kitty. Ooh, businesswoman working very, very hard. Look at her. This young woman is the brain behind Q2 Hunt. That's correct. So as you can see, my sister is very, very busy, so I'll go on with the OTD by myself first. So today it's gonna rain, so I'm wearing a boot from Keyhole. It's a Korean brand, and I'm holding my trusty bag from Cos. What's new? And this top is from a random Korean website, and this inner is a halter top from this Korean brand called Soft Soul. And the skirt is from YesStyle. It's a skirt, so there's a lining underneath, which is perfect. I have a new ring from YesStyle, so pretty. It's like light blue blue crystal on it and this one a silver ring is also from yes style i thought both of them go well together and this is my hair of the day and braided on the sides as usual i look so fabulous <coughs> good morning good morning cuties this is my key one day shop oh this is my outfit for today Ooh, i look so ethereal like fairy <laughs> My outfit entirely top to bottom is from YesStyle. I'm loving it. I love this like button details here and this lace details as well. It's very light and I love the hem detail. Look at those eyelids. So pretty. This is really high quality skirt. Waistband is an elastic band so it's really comfortable. And for my bag, I'm again doing Cezara with a little touch of numbering heart charm. Then look at my shoe cuties. This is from YesStyle. So it's raining today so it's a perfect day to wear a boot. Look at that buckle detail. So pretty. Braided my hair like usual. And that's pretty much it cuties. So let's go cuties. I already know what I'm gonna buy today. So yeah, let's go. Jesus <laughs> Christ. We have no space in this house. Beautiful, so gorgeous. Oh my god. Oh, look at the glow on the face. Strawberry jam inside. It's a familiar strawberry milk taste. Pistachio sauce. Not 
really the outside. Like when we move, yeah. like on the sofa. Yeah. Uh, I have the idea book. Someone is very, very happy, and I was very generous today so that my sister can buy four stuff total. Oh, three, three. Make it three. <laughs> Welcome to Chuan Shopaholic Safety. So this is basically a utensil holder. It's a marble, but it has a flat surface on the top. Yeah. So you can put your like chopsticks or forks on the top. Yeah. It's so pretty. This was only 8,000 won each, so that's a score. Now I just need a fork and spoon to go with this. <laughs> but the biggest purchase today is um, tissue box cover. Yeah. yeah. So we originally have this one, if you can remember. Hey! That wasn't <laughs> cheap either. Kind of sick of this. <laughs> I kind of get bored easily, kitty. Because I'm a slut. <laughs> this is why Chuan can't be in relationship, kitties. She gets bored too easily. Yeah, I need to change my boyfriend every once a month. <laughs> Ta -da! Look at this. So I have been seeing this brand a lot on social media. I oh, you did? Yeah. Ta da! Ta -da! So it's not only pretty, but it can be used kind of like an object for the mm -hmm. house interior. Uh, How do you even come up with this kind of design? I just love that there's a ribbon here. Yeah, that's it for this entire July, so... July just started, sis. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's it. PR unboxing time! It's a PJ gift from a brand called Atempo from Korea. Aww. A sweet letter from the brand. Ooh. 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 It tastes like hotel. Yeah. <gasps> Love the color. Wow. The texture is so nice. This one's linen. Oh, it's linen. Yeah. And, and matching pants. Oh my god. This thing too. <laughs> what are these? Scrunchies? It's a headband. Thank oh. you so much. Oh my god! Yeah, that is so pretty. I love silver. This summer silver is like on trend. Yes. Denim sis! That is so cute. There's a keychain. These these keychains are so popular, yeah. Korea. So, so cute. cute. They're rabbit. Ooh. Cute cute. Thank you to all the brands.
行くわけですか。先輩大丈夫ですか。Okay, c u r i o u s you c u r i o u s need to go to Netflix right now and watch this. t a k e us later, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Unbox the gifts that I got from Singapore. <laughs> oh my god, this is from our last meeting green in yeah. Singapore. One. Oh my god, That's I already saucer. love it. Oh, oh so pretty. Oh, and a matching spoon. It's, it's green. green. And a purple spoon. What did we do to deserve this? I'm definitely gonna make some kind of tea tonight. Thank you. So this is from the twins who also came to our meeting room last year. Yeah. Ur and Eda. Oh my oh. god. Perfect yogurt bowl. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh. Thank you cuties. Our favorite twins. Mm -hmm. This one's from Yan Yu. Sustainable Singapore City Wood. So meaningful. Oh. oh my god. Thank you so much cuties. Oh last one. It's from Lucia and Shiyun. That is so cute. Yo! Oh my gosh! You know how I use a lot of jams and stuff? Yeah. Put it here. A note. Oh my gosh, so cute. Where did I get all these stuff? I love it. Thank you so much, Gary. Thank you. Oh my god, what am I supposed to make with all these beautiful dishes? Ooh. Okay, mine I'll use that one. 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 Wow, the chocolate on top adds a little kick. Mmm, <laughs> so chocolatey. Oh, shit. So here is our cuties. We're in the process of hunting house. Oh. Yes, our own house. I'm actually extra more excited about this because this is the first time we're going to live in a single house rather than an apartment in Korea. Yes. One of our dreams is to live in a single house. You know, we all have that fantasy of living in a, a single house with your own backyard. And I want like a living room with a high ceiling and a huge ass kitchen for Q1. 
About two months ago, we actually went for a house hunting with Mama Kiki and Papa Kiki. Yeah. And we're about to show you cuties the footages. And we'll show you cuties how single houses look like in Korea. Korea. We're kind of contemplating whether we should buy a house or whether we should build it or whether we should buy like an old house and renovate it. And mm. we're kind of going towards renovation yep. or building it from the scratch because it's so hard to find a one that we really like. Yeah. Like if we like this one, we don't like that. Yeah. one and if it's like a brand new a lot of stuff we have to remodel it then why would we pay to buy a brand new house when we're gonna, re gonna renovate it yeah. so might as well just buy a very old, old one and then renovate yeah. it so yeah so enjoy the footage buy this place oh! ah! okay cuties so we'll show you four houses out of all the places we have been to if we have to choose our fave one from all the houses we visited, this would be the one. I believe it was three stories high and had four washrooms total, but the kitchen was too tiny. The kitchen must be the largest and the main focal part of our home, but this kitchen can't even fit all the dishes I have. Guilty! Plus, the living room was small. It's smaller than our current house, to be honest. But it had a mini pool and a huge backyard, which is perfect for us to plant fruits and veggies, and a nice outdoor space for our future puppies to play. Love the view from the the room as well as from the stairs plus they had two saunas inside the bathroom which was definitely a treat and omg look at this attic this could be perfect for a studio and all the clothes <sighs> If only the kitchen and living room was big enough. So this house was Papa Kiki's fave. It definitely had a big backyard to grow plants and our fur animals to play around. Also, it had a large outdoor swimming pool, which was so nice. But again, the living room wasn't big enough and the ceiling was so low for some reason. And the kitchen was not too bad, but it wasn't black, which is going to be hard for us to film content at night. The kitchen drawers were a nice touch though. And it had an outdoor terrace, which could be nice for us to have meals and barbecues. The washroom was in black marbles as well, which wasn't our cup of tea. Plus, the floors were all in black wood. The view was amazing from the top though. The third house was eliminated from our list even before checking inside because the way to get there by car was a disaster in terms of traffic and narrow roads and long distance, but we decided to just see inside anyways. I actually really love this place too. I think it had the most unique interior design, plus it had a huge swimming pool. The size of the living room was great and loved the beach house vibe as well. The size of the kitchen was great too, well, except for the color, and it had two huge built-in refrigerators, which I loved. It had a huge rooftop which we could possibly create an outdoor dining area, but there weren't enough rooms which was a huge miss. Okay, so this is the last house which none of us really liked so I won't go into details but it had a freaking elevator? Like what? I thought that was kind of cool. Well, hope you cuties enjoyed this tour and we'll take your cuties along the entire process of this journey and we'll make sure to feel much better next time. I know the footage were a bit crappy and shaky. Ciao! I hope you find the courage to change your life in the small ways, in the big ways, in every way that matters. I hope you do not end the story with a heart full of regrets. I hope you do not spend your years just waiting for your life to begin. I hope you realize that this is not the practice run. This is not the preview. This is it. There's nothing to do but leap. There's nothing to do but allow yourself to exist as boldly and honestly as you can. You're not waiting another person or the right timing or for everything to fall into place. 
prepare waiting to feel ready enough to exist within the questions, to not need every answer, and to know that this life does not come to us to be perfectly understood, but to be fully experienced in every direction we can possibly reach. We bring on a wise. Teach me how to bend.